Yeah, this is Jeffrey Stevens for the Rural Adaptive Solutions uh, Project. Also, uh, I serve on the Northwest Disability Services Advisory Council representing Tillamook County. Uh, I've served for the last four years, and uh, oh, the last time I s got together with uh, um, our concerned citizens uh, was geez back in November when we presented uh, uh, basically a proposal to the county commissioners that uh, dealt with uh, the departure of Dr. Zimmerman and uh, Dr. Betlinski and basically the implosion of our uh, medical services establishment in the county um, you know the DEA had uh, been making the rounds and uh, uh, basically um, telling uh, providers to drop uh, pain management patients and uh, um, it just really created uh, a potential problem um, thanks to Dr. Stuart Rosenblum at uh, the Oregon Anesthesia Group. Uh, they have a very large uh, um, clinic in uh, Portland. Uh, they agreed to uh, pick up the clients that got dropped through the cracks, but the uh, um, situation just really went nuts. Uh, for some reason, uh, the health department started uh, changing patient medications. Uh, they weren't seeing the patients. They didn't have um, qualified people to make the uh, uh, decisions. Um, they were ignoring mental health professionals. Um, we had lots of uh, uh, turnover in, in personnel therapists uh, um, you know it was just basically approaching a uh, crisis and I thought we had a pretty good solution but uh, um, you know basically uh, that's the reason uh, we created the uh, rural adaptive solutions is because we're just not getting the communications uh, and the services that we need for the senior disabled veteran communities uh, in the county. So, uh, you know, it just <laughs> made sense to uh, take a look at creating alternatives locally and, uh, you know, uh, I'd worked with Dr. Zimmerman. He was uh, really a, a talented visionary uh, doctor um, you know his patients really loved him and uh, he had uh, uh, some ideas and I worked with him on uh, uh, some new technology actually it's it's very simple video technology now um, and uh, we came up with a service model that uh, you know, we thought it would be really beneficial to the county, but you know, it got cut off uh, two weeks before everything was. Uh, um, basically, it was time to sit down and, and uh, crunch numbers and what have you. Uh, any rate, uh, we've included that outline in the website um, because we're trying to reestablish a primary care clinic for the uh, complex cases which would be chronically ill and, and uh, um, chronic pain patients um, you know we want to make sure that there's specialized mental health services uh, one of the things that uh, I'm real proud of uh, our secretary has really done a great job organizing the first uh, um, support group for uh, chronic pain patients. Uh, it's been 
really successful and it's growing and that's something we tried to get through Tillamook Family Services for uh, I know for four years and you know I'd been bringing these issues to the Advisory Council for four years uh, you know I, I know how uh, you know people like to criminalize uh, um, the patient because of the meds they have to use uh, well you know there's a lot of dangerous meds out there it's not just the opiates uh, that are basically a part of an effective uh, pain management program for a lot of people uh, and it's a lot safer than some of the new stuff that's coming out that isn't tested <laughs> takes them uh, two minutes to give you the side effects when they advertise it so uh, um, at any rate uh, Dr. Bentlitsky had asked me to uh, um, present the proposal to the to the uh, health department but then I thought no uh, I wanted to take it a different route and hopefully uh, you know bring some uh, um, specialized uh, uh, talent into the county and uh, you know develop those services um, you know it's a bit of economic development but it also takes care of a very underserved part of our population because um, right now we've got uh, uh, as a result of policy changes uh, retirements uh, you know there's been an exodus of really talented qualified uh, care providers mental health uh, providers uh, therapists um, dr. Zimmerman uh, you know chief of medical services was really a, a brilliant practitioner um, you know he practiced uh, treating the entire patient um, any rate uh, the health department's dealing with a, a big turnover I mean there's a ton of us that don't even even have uh, primary care anymore so uh, we're working on addressing that and uh, We'll be doing more updates on this uh, as it develops because there are some really exciting things that are uh, coming out of it. Uh, our numbers listed in the website, uh, and uh, we're going to include uh, oh some of the uh, testimony from some of the clients that have been affected uh, by some of the changes so you get an idea of the human uh, cost and uh, you know remember these are our neighbors you know these aren't a bunch of party animals uh, it's one of the things I always resented is like uh, you know oh we're just a bunch of druggies well you know <laughs> we're in very serious uh, pain management therapy uh, I've been personally dealing with it since 1989 and uh, I know how uh, you can be treated like a second-class citizen uh, oh, believe me but you know I think uh, what I see is a great bunch of people in uh, Tillamook County very committed patients <laughs> Uh, you know I was amazed at uh, how conservative <laughs> everybody was uh, and how willing to sit down with law enforcement policy makers what have you uh, you know they had some really excellent ideas um, but nobody listened to us it was just stonewalled so uh, um, you know we'll present the alternatives uh, as soon as they come together at any rate uh, let us know how you feel and uh, you know we're doing this one day at a time uh, figuring it out as we go um, we did uh, 
videotape Senator Merkley's uh, visit and uh, we're going to be uh, setting up a video conference interview with him in the near future and uh, one of the positive things that uh, we heard from his presentation was uh, some of the local funding options for uh, developing these service businesses. Um, at any rate, we can go into uh, the detail as those proposals uh, get processed and printed. And that'll be soon, like within a matter of weeks. So, at any rate, um, get in touch, let us know what's going on in your life and uh, how we can help if we can. And uh, good luck, and we'll talk to you soon.